guys, so I am traveling to Taiwan today. I am leaving Singapore and I have got to show you guys the Singapore airport. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my God, look at this view. It's called the Jewel Singapore Airport. And oh my God, there is a massive waterfall. This kid, is that real? Like, can you go up to it and like, can I touch it? Okay, you can't touch it. <laughs> There's a like, glass over it. But yeah, it's really cool. Look at this. Oh my God, I want to see the view from up there, but it's amazing. And this place is absolutely huge. I don't even know where to go. Like there's a supermarket, there's a food court, there's a whole movie theater in here. Where, okay, so like, but where do I go in to check into my airport, guys? I, I don't even know. Uh, we're gonna walk around to find out. But yeah, you see, this place is so big. So many different places to eat at. Even the 7-Eleven has their own cafe. Let's look at the 7-Eleven cafe. Ooh, look at those pastries. Okay. Got electronic stores. Oh, I actually know this. I know this brand for boba. Oh my god, I'm so excited to go to Taiwan because their boba is amazing. For those of you who don't know, I actually worked at um, a boba shop for five years. So um, any boba quality that's not like up to the Taiwanese standard is like I cannot drink it. Oh, okay. Let me check out the uh, lobby right here. Figured it out. I gotta go to L1 for Terminal One. That's where my airport is at. So yeah, there is so many different like levels oh my gosh so yeah we're right now here over a food hall car supermarket cinema let's go elevator and look at that look at that view okay i'm going back down to level one but oh that is so beautiful this is an airport it's so amazing it's a whole like jungle in here outside to kind of check in but look they have even a little pan that you can take pictures with i'm gonna walk towards here Oh my gosh, we need a poo. How cute is this? Okay, but this is amazing. Oh my god. This is the airport? Everybody's here taking pictures and just hanging out? This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Over here, and this is an escalator. It's just like a slide. I'm like kind of following, falling. Um, but yeah, this is my first time seeing it like this. Look, it's just a slide. It's so cool. <laughs> they don't have escalators, just a slide. That's funny. Found the uh, check-in center, and now we're getting our documents checked to go into departure. Airport is so big, it had its own swimming pool. That's crazy. This is the first time. I've never been this early. It's literally all empty. Um, but it's really because cool. like I got here to the gate without going to security. I was texting my friend. I'm like, do you not have to go through security at the single airport? Airport, but. The security is literally right at the gate. So I was like, I thought I hacked the system or something. So I guess I go back exploring now because nobody is here and I'm like three hours early. I thought, I mean, like, I'm just, I was just gonna sit around and play some video games on my phone, but whatever. I got a present from my dad. I asked the lady how, when this um, expires. She says it expires at the end of the year. Uh, my dad loves pineapples. So I got him these pineapple tarts. Um, Taiwan is also very known for like pineapple treats and stuff, but um, I don't know. I want, to, I want to give my dad a gift from every country. So here I'm getting him these pineapple tarts. I totally would get more um, because I feel like I need to get another suitcase just for snacks and stuff. But I do not want to carry a lot of stuff because I still have to go to Japan after Taiwan. So we're just going to get this little thing from my dad and I'm going to go walk around a little bit more and I need some Diet Coke. So that's what I'm going to do because nobody is here. I've never been this early to the gate. Oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. I think the worst is when like, um, I've been as late as like two minutes before the gate closes. Like I got to the airport and they're already like boarding the final round and I just ran to the gate. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> don't want so this is good, this is good. I'm building a trend of arriving early at the gate so I don't have to feel so rushed and so much anxiety because I do not need any of that. But I'm gonna go explore. I actually saw this thing. This is like their sweet pork jerky. I don't know why I didn't just go over there to film some stuff. Um, I totally escaped my mind, but I was trying to buy some and luckily the lady was actually nice enough not to skamaz me because um, I was about to buy like a pound and a pound was like $40 and it's like their sweet pork jerky, really well known here in Singapore, but I'm not allowed to take meat products into Taipei. So 
It's very unfortunate. I really wanted to bring some for my friends to try, but oh well, next time. Maybe I'll just come to Singapore itself and then get some and take it back. I right, want well, first things first, I'm gonna transfer over some cash because a lot of the street for here is um, cash only and I definitely wanna get some of that. I want money, it looks like $300 is about 9,000. Oh yeah, here it is. I, I feel like it's so cool how other countries are always so colorful when America is just so bland on the money. Long line for taxi right now. Everybody just got off of the plane. We're all queuing for this tax. Just checked into my Airbnb. Here's some cupboards and stuff. I love how all the Asian Airbnbs have mugs and kettle for hot water because I love hot water. Got the restroom over here and I have a surprise for you. I put this Airbnb because it is Hello Kitty themed. Look at this. I got a little stair up to my little Hello Kitty bed. Oh my God. How cute is this? I love it. I love it so much. I love it. Oh, we love Hello Kitty. I had a very, it's not a very long video because it was just mostly me traveling and stuff, but it was really cool to show you guys like the uh, Singapore airport and um, a little bit of vlogging. I, Cause I, I, I did a challenge um, earlier today before I went to the Singapore airport, so that's why I wasn't hungry at all, so I didn't really eat anything at the Singapore airport. Next time, though, next time I'll definitely do a little bit more exploring, but that was actually a, such a beautiful airport, but the right here cost $30, 1000 something like that, 1400 $31, something like that. It was average. Taiwan is a very, um, very affordable to be in. Everything's really cheap and I'm really excited to eat some strict food, okay? Tomorrow I'm gonna have a little bit of break. I've been doing so much challenges, eating a lot of food. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna do like a vlog on just eating street food because the street food in Taiwan is, oh my God, it is what I'm, I love Taiwan. The security guard was like, are you Taiwanese? I'm like, no, but these are my people, <laughs> kind of, um, my family. <laughs> My family is from uh, Trenzo, which is like very close to here, literally like a boat ride away. And I grew up with, um, or I, uh, yeah, I hung out with a lot of Taiwanese um, people. Like I said, I worked in a Taiwanese boba shop for five years. So my tone of Mandarin is a lot like Taiwanese people, if that makes any sense. Like, cause China's so big, right? So like, um, you know, like there's different tones and dialects and um, like pronunciations, just like how from like, I guess somebody from Wisconsin would sound very different from somebody from um, Louisiana, something like that. So my tonation of Chinese is very similar to Taiwanese people. So when I was speaking Chinese too, they're like, oh, are you from Taiwan or whatever? I'm like, nah, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, but either way, I'm super excited. I'm so tired right now. I'm not tired, which is a bad sign. I need to get some rest and tomorrow I can start vlogging and show you guys the amazing food that Taiwan has to offer. So um, not much in this video. I'm sorry for that, but it was just a little vlog, like I said. And either way, I hope you like it and make sure to like and subscribe because you do not want to miss out on Taiwan videos. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming. And on my Instagram page, I do a lot of giveaways. And on my Twitter page, I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.